Bible Conference from May 15, 20 at State of Bible Conference in State of Ontario. It's going to be a great time to discover the heart of God and connect with other young adults. Registration starts at $160 for the basic accommodation and $225 for the lodge. If you are interested in registering, contact Albert or Galen Mules. On February 13th, that's this coming Friday, we would like to invite the youth and young adults to the Valentine's dinner at Alice Banquet Hall. Join us for a night of dinner, dancing, and a message from a special guest speaker on the Treats of Love. Registration is at $35. Please see Gilene Briones or Kai Aruda. See you there! At CLC, we want everyone to find their place in one of our care homes. It's time to fellowship with other believers and reflect on God's Word. If you would like to get connected to a group, approach the DIC team or email us at clcscarp at yahoo.com. We hope to see you in a care group soon. There are many ways to get connected here at CLC. Visit us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining us and have a blessed day.
Okay, on the tax receipts now available at JIC. So if you haven't re uh, received your receipt yet, uh, just approach the JIC uh, uh, ladies. And also um, the events calendar. We have the calendars as well, so you can take it home with you, so you know what's happening for the whole year. So you won't miss any. Thing. There's a lot of things going on for the whole year. It's always good to know, uh, you know, and see your calendar, okay? And also, uh, young adults and youth, you will uh, be meeting with Pastor Jerry and Pastora LV after the service. So, young adults, young people, don't go anywhere. You have a meeting with Mama E and Papa J. <laughs> Here in the sanctuary after the service. Amen. That's a good thing about our pastor. They don't mind us calling Mama and Papa. Because they are our spiritual parents. They are here to, to support us always. So are you ready for your giving? Yes. Amen. So if you need an envelope, please raise your hands and the ushers will come. Ushers, can you come forward and let's just pray for our offering today. I hope I didn't forget anything. But uh, anyway, so... So let's pray. Father, we thank you for the words that we heard from your heart today. We thank you, Lord, for the way you have Lord, spoken to us. Thank you, Lord, for strengthening us through your words. Thank you, Lord, for feeding us, Lord, with that fresh words that came from you. Lord, um, even as we give our offering, our tithes and offering today, Lord, we just want to, Lord, uh, glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, for the way you bless us with many great things. And we know, Lord, we look forward for more great things that you're about to do in our lives. We are so excited, oh God, because indeed, Lord, you are good, and that you, you're always there for us. Even as we give our tithes and offering, may you be glorified, oh God. And we just speak your blessing upon all these finances, Lord God, today. And Lord, we ask that you would give the wisdom to those people who are uh, looking after this, you, this finances, Lord, and that you would give them wisdom. And Lord, this, this finances will be used for the furtherance of your kingdom, Lord. And so, Lord, we thank you again for our work. Thank you, God, for our good health. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings, oh God, and for more blessings to come into our life. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <coughs> Because we as a church, we are family together. Amen? 
And so we as a family together, we care for one another. We want to be together. So there are things here uh, that we have put in, uh, your leadership has put in, so that you would know when those times as we gather as a family. And so it becomes important. If you care about the church, then you would be able to make it a priority in your life. Amen? That you can say, hey, there is an activity there. So you can plan. So you're not going to miss activities because, oh, I already planned for something. But if you know those activities already ahead of time, then you can make sure that you can plan around it. Okay? Uh, that's a great thing to have. Uh, so you have it at the, at the GIC there. Also, I want to just uh, encourage the, the parents of the youth. Um, you know, uh, it's so important uh, if you have youth in the church to uh, be a partner in the church to be able to care and disciple, disciple your youth. Remember the primary responsibility of caring and discipling the children is you as a parent. We only as a church uh, are partnering with you. So therefore you should make it available, you should make your youth available to the discipleship. So if there are activities for the youth, then you as a parent should desire to be able to bring your children, if, if you have the capacity to, to bring your children to uh, the youth. You know, it's very important that it shows your youth that you care. Amen? You care for their discipleship. You care for them, their growth. And it's so important we do that. And I need, I need to tell you uh, that you should, uh, you should be really involved in your young people in making sure that they are able to go to the youth services, uh, youth uh, Bible study and all of that. And, uh, you know, because I, I remember one time we had in our, uh, in our Brampton, uh, I remember when I was a youth pastor, because, you know, we didn't have associate pastor, so I was the senior pastor, youth pastor, every pastor I was in. So I remember taking the youth and driving, you know, after the service, I would be driving this youth and I would be going to the, the, their home because nobody was picking them up. I would drive them home and I would see three cars parked in the driveway. And you know, and by the time I get home, it's like midnight because I have to take all of these people to their homes and yet the parents were just sitting at home, right? And so eventually it, it, they, they, they don't realize that the young people are seeing that and saying, well, my parents don't really care about me anyway. So, so that's the thing that we need to see that. And one time uh, there was a, a very passionate young person and he was doing the, the keyboard. He was like very passionate. And he kept going to the youth, and we would make sure we get to pick him up, because his parents would take him. But they were believers, they come to church. But then, eventually, because he kept doing, they're not supporting their youth, eventually this young person stopped going, stopped becoming a, a keyboard player, he stopped uh, coming to the youth services, any of the things that in the youth, and eventually he got into drugs. And then, about a, a month later, the parents come to us and say, Pastor, can you please pray for our youth? Please pray for our son, because this is what happened. And all I could do is, yes, let's just pray. There's not much we can do anymore. Because while we were there to help them, they did not give priority to the upbringing of their youth to be able to be spiritual. Amen? So, uh, we're going to be talking to the young people as well later on. So, uh, but... As parents, I encourage you, please. Uh, is that okay, uh, Albert? He want me to plug this in, so it's okay. <laughs> all right, so let's all stand and... Uh... Oh yeah, sorry, 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 I forgot. We're gonna recognize, we're, we're gonna recognize our cell leaders, all right? There's new cell leaders right now. Uh, can we just call those cell leaders, uh, the new cell leaders, can you please come? Uh, all the cell leaders, praise God. All right, these are the, uh, the the new care group leaders from the different tribes. We have Mark and Gemma Robin. There is J.R. and Jen Topasha. Please face the congregation. We have Jerry and Joy Sacuesa. Joseph and uh, Libby Capito. Yes. Oh, Lay, what's your name? <laughs> I'm thinking, who's this new cow? 
poquito here. <laughs> Judith, Joseph, and Leigh are and Rolando and Rhoda Arreglado. Ernie and Marinelle, all right. Gapu, Edmar and Paulita Canlas. Jojo and Miriam Samson. Lito and Grace Mariano, all right. And then we have the young adults, uh, Kirk and Hannah Lepiten. Kirk and Hannah. And then Daryl Calpito, Rene, uh, jo uh, Rene Joyce Versosa, John Sacuesa, uh, Joel Topacio. Oh, Jed, sorry. Jed. <laughs> Jed, sorry, Jed. Jed Topacio. John Tanwanco. John. And then Roland Arreglado, Tamara Laksamana, and Rachel Candas. Wow, look at this. Come on, let's give them a very big applause. These are your caregiver leaders. I want to encourage you, uh, you can belong to any of these care groups. If you don't belong to a group right now, find someone here that you, you know, if you like them, <laughs> you see them, all right? Go and join their care group, okay? It's so important that they they need to be able, to, uh, it's so important that you belong to a care group, amen? So make sure that you you uh, belong to any one of this group. Now, we want to be praying for this group. Now, you can see that here at CLC, we're developing and training leaders, all right? Because the growth of the church will only be dependent on how many leaders that we would have to care for the people, amen? So these people are making the sacrifices to be able to care for you. And so we want to pray for them, all right? So uh, I want you to uh, extend your hands to them. And uh, uh, by the way, we can all stand already and we're going to be dismissing and extend your hands to them right now. We're going to be praying for them. Lord, we pray for all of these care group leaders. We thank you, Lord, for their lives. We thank you for... Uh, each of their, uh, them, Lord God, for their families that are already uh, making sacrifices to care for your people. We pray that you will bless them. We pray, we pray that you will protect them, strengthen them, oh God. Give them wisdom, Lord. And we pray that you would encourage them. And that, Lord, that they will not, Lord God, be discouraged. We pray that you will continue to anoint them and, and your hand will be upon their life. And so we lift them up to you, oh God. We are just so grateful for these lives and we, we just thank you for them. And now, may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. May the Lord shine His face upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance on you and give you His peace. May He cause you to walk under an open heaven. May He cause you to prosper in every area of your lives, even as your soul prospers. May He open doors of opportunities for you that you can enter in and be victorious for God. May He continue to fill you with His love, grace, and the power of His Spirit throughout this week and until He comes. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah.